Welcome back to the workshop. I'm Sam Bear, the collector car guru. And today we have a 1986 Ferrari 328 GTS. And it has a very common issue to not only Ferraris, like the 308 and the 328 and the Mondial 8, but also to many Mercedes of the late 70s and early 80s, like the 280 and the 450. Any car with the mechanical Bosch fuel injection, the Jetronic. So if you're having this issue where you turn on the car after it's sitting for a while and you get this, or if you're having really bad hot start problems where it just doesn't want to get going, well, it's probably this, the fuel accumulator that keeps pressure in the fuel injection system. And I'm going to show you how to replace it on the 328 right now. Oh, and don't forget to like or subscribe. So obviously on a Mercedes, the location is going to be very different than it is on the Ferrari 308s and 328s. But on the 308s and 328s, the fuel accumulator, well, it's right here, right next to the fuel pump. And the accumulator's job is to keep constant fuel pressure in the system, even when the car is turned off. And what happens is, is the diaphragm inside, it winds up going bad and leaking. And the telltale sign that it's gone bad is that this vent hose on American cars, which goes up to the fuel tank, it starts filling up with fuel. Now on Euro cars, it's actually, there's no tube at all, just vents to atmosphere. So on Euro cars, if it's fuel puddling right underneath it, we know it's bad. So our first thing to do is to take off this vent tube and see if there's fuel dripping out. As you can see, the accumulator is just held in with a clamp and then the two fuel lines and of course the vent hose. So let's get those loosened and we'll get the new one in. Well, here it is in all its glory, the failed accumulator. It's a little corroded because it's exposed to the elements, um, but it's time to replace it. Now, you can go to a Ferrari dealership and God only knows what they'll charge you for the OEM Bosch part. Probably somewhere between $500 and $1,000. But you can actually go online to any of a number of European auto parts suppliers and they have the original Bosch units. But <laughs> I went on Amazon and got the URO parts, the interchange part, which as you can see is totally identical in all way, shapes, forms, functions. It came with free prime two day shipping and it was $117 including tax. Pretty cool. Let's get it installed. Now remember these 17 millimeter nuts, they need to be tightened, but don't over tighten them. Now all that's left to do is take this vent tube and put it back on. And we'll go ahead and tighten that up. It's time to bring the car most of the way down, test it out, see if it leaks. Now, it's gonna start and stop because there's no fuel pressure in there. So it's gonna take a little while. No leaks, looking good. Let's shut her down. <laughs> 